Hey everyone, so today I am going to be vlogging my first day of online schooling. So I figured I would show you my setup and I'm going to show a little bit of me doing my online school when I get started. So stay tuned. Anyway, um, this is my setup. Very cute, very cute. Um, I'm gonna do a get ready with me office. Can you look into the mirror or the the phone? How does it look? Can you see me? It's on your chin. Oh my gosh. You want me to face it upward? Yeah. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. Thank do you, you want me to stop recording and record again? No, I'll just start it out. It's okay. fine. Okay, so <laughs> I just had to have Catherine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I just had to have Catherine um, come in here and readjust my camera because apparently I was recording the bottom half of my mouth. But I already put on primer. And I mixed some CC cream with the VFX Pro to just give me a lighter um, color because the CC cream in medium to light is like too dark for me right now because I don't have a tan. So I like to lighten that up. But yeah, so today I start that kind of i don't know i wanted to take a nap earlier but i couldn't and so i didn't sleep that good last night i feel like i do this anytime i start something new um but i am pretty excited i'm instructing a phlebotomy class and yeah so the last one i was in i actually the last teaching job that i had um I was, that was like a year ago, right? When COVID happened and then they shut down and they couldn't figure out what they wanted to do with everything. And yeah, it's taken this long to get back to this point. So it's definitely exciting to get back into the swing of things. But I'm trying, like I said, I just want to do like a quick, Nothing like too crazy kind of look. Catherine, I need you again. Or do I? Yeah, I do. Okay, where did my backpack go? It's on the bed right here. Make me look alive. Make me look like I care. This is what I'm going to be wearing. I'm wearing shorts, but I just want to be comfortable. And I guess I'll bring a blanket in here if I feel like I really get cold or whatever, but I don't feel like I will. So um, with all these lights on me, I'm not sure which lights I'm going to actually be using. But these are the ones that I just got and I'll show them to I just those are the ones that I was showing you in the beginning of this video. Um the yeah, I just got a new light setup and it's all like eBay stuff, so if I can share the link below. I look tired today. It's because I am. I'm like stressing kind of, but I don't know why. I think it's just because I'm like committed to doing something now and at least I get to be home. So it's actually hybrid learning. It's uh, the didactic version, which is like the book and just like all the stuff you need to know for the test. That's all online. And then we do like four clinical days. Um, out of the month or I, I'm not really sure how it works yet but that's what they're telling me something along the lines of that and I'm gonna 
gonna use this ink liner from Pharmacy. And I don't really have like any, hmm, you know what? I have so much of this makeup. I, you know, I haven't really cleaned my brushes, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of a frosted color on there. Nothing too crazy. And this is from a eyeshadow trio uh, 04 Vice Brown. I'm just putting it all over my eye just to mattify it, and make it look normal in person. I don't think you'll be able to tell on my computer, but um, I feel like lashes make a big difference though. But yeah, so I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling nervous and excited. And I'm just happy to be here with the fam and not having to actually be out and about for working purposes. I'll also check in like right at the beginning of my class and you guys can see like what it's all about and um, trying to concentrate um, to see what I'm doing as much as I want to say this is my favorite Kat Von D still is just trying to use it because I ordered it to see if it was a comparison. They are, they're comparable, but I feel like the Kat Von D is just like one of those things that are just really a staple, the ink liner. Yeah, I really like pharmacy products, so they look really nice on the skin and they're extremely inexpensive. Actually, this is working pretty good. I like how it's like very, like a pin. I do not know why I just do my eyes first. I think I might add a little bit more color. Hmm. Let's see. Mm. I want to dip into this, but I'm always dipping into this and I don't feel like I have any colors in this. I think I'm going to go into this dose of colors one. And I think I'm going to use this green color because I have like this green cactus right here. So we're going to go into this Dosa Colors palette. This is the Friendcation palette from Desi and Katie's collaboration. Very pretty colors. This is more just like, I don't really need these colors, but I feel like I need a little something for my face today. I'm feeling like I said, I'm tired. I'm kind of feeling just a little nervous, like I said. So I'm going to dip into this bottom sparkly color and give me a little inner corner pop. I 
There we go. Okay. Now we are going to take these palettes right here. These are little trio palettes from the pharmacy. And this is the Peach Bite palette. And this is like more peachy, like bronzy kind of tones. And then this other one's a little bit more on like the uh, not like that kind of vibe. So my next video that I'm going to be doing after this is going to be my Huda Beauty review. And I haven't actually had the products in a while and I've noticed a difference in my skin. It's not doing as fantastic as it was. So I'm pretty sure that that is the reason why my skin is acting weird right now and I want to get it back to normal so I'm gonna go buy some of that and do a full-on like review and then she has her new thirst trap um serum that I really am excited to try sorry if I seem distracted just have a lot on my mind right now and I'm trying to just kind of hurry up and get ready more than I am trying to like, you know. I'm gonna go get a lip color and I'll be right back. All right, so these will work. This color I think will go well with what I'm wearing. So we're gonna, you know what? Yes, let's do the lips. So this is lip liner 227, it's like a brown color, and then this is 203, and I literally never wear light colors like this. I usually try to keep it, um, uh, this looks like okay for my skin tone, but I usually try and keep it in like a certain realm of like how I uh, wear my colors. I usually like darker colors. I feel like the lighter colors kind of wash me out. And you can see mostly everything, but this is fine. For now. So this morning I just literally sat around and stressed about what I was gonna do. I think like I said it's just because I haven't really like worked in like over a year and so you know it's like the first day jitters and like expectations of like being a like a teacher for like a career type thing I feel like is a little higher than you know most things plus I'm like over here trying to keep the kids on track and dinner ain't happening tonight so we're gonna have to go buy dinner or Kevin's gonna have to and I'm already getting hungry I could have prepared for this a little, little bit better for sure. We're gonna curl the lashes. And I already had a meeting today with the woman in charge and she is just making sure that I'm ready to go. And I feel like I am for the most part. It's just like I said, just nerve-wracking for stage jitters kind of stuff. So, I'm gonna go in with these Ardell Wispies, the original. And we're gonna put these bad boys on right now. I'm going to make it quick. I need to be more organized to make that happen. 
Okay, so I'm using the Lily Lashes adhesive because that's what I have. I ordered some Lily Lashes, but I like lighter lashes, so it just does not work for me to have a heavier lash on my eyeball. So, okay. Um, I'm gonna pull some of these bottom ones. For sure, these are too long for me. The whole end pieces coming off. That glue on the other one, too. Because the inner corner will drive me bonkers if I don't uh, do something about it. If I don't cut them correctly is really what I'm saying. And I know it's like the clear lash band, but I have black glue. I like the way that it sets everything a lot better. Um, and yeah, it just looks more seamless. So I'll let that dry for a second. While we're doing that, these ones out and trim them too. And you want to trim the outer corner always. And then I will be right back after I am done putting these lashes on and we'll finish up with just my get ready with me part. bend the lashes oh. this is not turning out the way I wanted it to turn it I still have other things to do Ugh. procrastination is a bad thing
Okay, that took way freaking longer than I wanted it to. I am not happy about that. Okay, weak inch, weak inch, weak inch, weak inch, and weak inch. And now I have to go figure out what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. So that's exciting. Um, okay, time to clean this up. Let's put these extras up in here. You never know if we'll need some extra. This is the look. I'm gonna do my hair. You guys will see it when it's done in a little bit, but I gotta go. So I will see you shortly. All right, so I am ready. I need to, to get a few things together but I'm about to get started and yeah I think I like these lights I think they turned out very nicely exit okay let's see how this one makes me look Ooh, very nice very nice um I think we'll lighten that up just a bit Brightness. There we go. So uh, this is my setting. This is my background. This is what I what I'm doing. This is my little corner of my room, my little mini office, and I'm about to jump on and I'm gonna go through some stuff with um, the lady in charge so that I know that I'm gonna be good to go when this starts, but I wanted to look decent. I have party on top, shorts on the bottom, <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. So I'm ready to go and I will check in with you guys when I actually start the class and um, uh, after I am done with the class. So yeah, I'm excited. receive the syllabus and they're all signed. Um, so Kayla is your instructor and she, I, I'm going to let her tell you a little bit about herself because she has an amazing amount of experience and um, uh, you're just going to have lots of fun uh, learning from her. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla. Nice to meet you all. Um, so I've been a phlebotomist since 2008 and I have about, give or take, about 13 years of experience uh, under my belt in different various um, professions. I also have my EKG technician and my telemetry technician certificates, so I've used those along with my phlebotomy license. Um, when I was in high school, I did ROP for my CNA. Um, and so I have my CNA license as well. Um, I, so that's like my background of the things that I've done. I, um, I've worked in outpatient labs. I've worked at hospitals. I've worked um, and commuted pretty far places and I have a ton of experience all over the Orange County and like the Inland Empire area um, and yeah I have two kids I have a 11 and a 13 year old and me and my husband we own a dumpster rental business and yeah so I've just kind of um, in like the past 10 years here and there, I've just gotten a, a bunch of experience working at a bunch of different places. Like I've worked at the Veterans Hospital in Long Beach. I've worked at San Antonio Hospital in Upland. Um, I've worked at Kaiser a couple of different times. Um, and so I have a lot of experience and knowledge, you know, to share with you guys with all types of different various places. I've also worked at Quest, um, and yeah, and I was a teacher for the past, um, I've been a teacher for, uh, it's been about five years or so, six years, uh, give or take some time. Um, I had a little bit of time off in between and I also worked for St. Mary's, um, 
for a short period of time through a temp agency and then uh, I've been a teacher pretty much ever since so um, yeah I have a lot of knowledge to share with you guys and um, that's pretty much all I have to say. <laughs> Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> thank you. We love about Kayla mainly is she's so open. She really wants to make sure that you learn. And, uh, but in a way that we all learn differently. We all see the things differently. We all study differently. We all have different experiences. So it's about, she's great about pulling all those experiences in together and making Everybody for sharing. Now I think it's it's Lynn's turn to share. So I'm over here eating late night. It's like 11 11 or 11 10 58. And I just got off at like almost 10 because we stayed on after talking. And yeah, so now I'm in my PJs eating the rest of my habit salad. It's bomb. And it's almost 11 o'clock now. And the kids are about to go night night. And that is it for today. So, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.